Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Divinity Original Sin 2 Definitive Edition. I'm your host, Colors Fade. We're here on the northern part of the map near this elven structure. We're going to do something called the um, A Trial for All Seasons is the name of the quest. So anyways, what you want to do, Fane has put the elven mask on. I see you, an elf by appearance is not always an elf by heart. Prove yourself, overcome the trial, and stand as a true elf. You are ready to begin. A true elf knows that nature is a finer weapon than even the sharpest blade. The four seasons have served our people well. Four heroes rest before you, wielders of the seasons. Pay homage to their skills. Solve their riddle, and prove yourself. If you can, winter shudders with ice and snow. Autumn rumbles, the sky lit aglow. Summer burns, air fiery as a heart. Spring quenches with bloody rebirth. So what this is, is eat. there are four totem things around here, and you have to create a surface next to them of the appropriate thing according to the puzzle, the riddle. So the Hero of Winter, which I have the mouse cursor over, you have to do with ice. And the Hero of Spring, you need to create a steam cloud, so you're going to need water and fire. Hero of Summer is just fire. And then the Hero, oh, the Hero of Autumn is the one that you need um, steam cloud for. And the Hero of Spring, you need blood for. And we have a blood spell for that take my leave. So at that point in time, I've spoken to him. Bane's going to equip this helmet, and he's created blood. I'm going to disconnect everybody, because where you start this trial can be a little bit, there's a big rock formation here, and you can kind of, you can kind of keep everybody from being a whole lot of trouble here. If you can keep them behind this rock formation. So, but for right now, we don't need to do that. I just want to get everybody ready. So here is the hero of summer, and he'll just laser ray it. And then you can see the sparks go around it. The hero of springs. We need the hero of autumn. She's going to make it rain over here. And then he will cast a fireball over there. And did that get him going? Yes, no. Steam cloud. I didn't see that that actually worked. Steam Lance. Oh, she needs to swap out a spell. Okay. She needs one of her Winter Scroll spells. So I'm going to swap out um, Rain for Hail Strike. That creates the things around him. This one's not not quite there yet so we're gonna have to try that one again so she's gonna lose hail strike and do rain again I think he'll just try laser ray again still not seeing it work Oh, an electrified steam cloud. Okay, and then you need to shock it. Durr. All right, then she needs to shock this thing. Um, so let's pick something easy, like static discharge. There it goes. Now it's on fire the right way. Like the wheel of uh, rain out there. So she's going to go hide back here. And the Red Prince is going to go hide back here. 
And the last one who needs to do anything is Fane. And he is similarly going to go hide back here. And then he's going to cast Blood Rain. Trial for all seasons. And does anybody need to go talk to anything? You have solved the riddle and shown mastery over the seasons. Now you must face the trial of combat. Yay, and this is not in any way particularly easy, I have found. Yeah. They all have different immunities. And they're all good or bad at various different things. So the next person who's going to act is the Trial of Spring. And she has tons of physical and not a lot of magic. And they're all immunity. You can see this one has water immunity. This one has earth immunity. Hmm. So what do I want to do here? This guy over here. And that one really far away. Okay. I can't really get over there, can I? Dang, nabbit. <laughs> How far away can I cast my spider? Oh, not as far away as I wanted to. I'm going to go... Right here. Covering air immunity. Prepare yourself. You have to. You have to keep these guys uh, pinned down. They've got to be disabled. Otherwise, this whole thing goes really badly, from what I remember. That hurt a little bit. Holy but Jesus! Oh my gosh! Who's gonna act next? Hero of Autumn? Oh man. Okay. I guess somehow get over there and knock that guy down and then Ephon's gonna get healed. Holy cow, that sucked. That was a hell of a critical hit, man. That did 800 points of damage and took off all his armor. Alright, tactically retreating. See if you can knock this fool down. Prevent him from acting. There we go, that helps. Um, first aid would be nice. We're gonna need everything we can on E5. Okay, who acts next? The Challenger of Winter? Oh, jeez. Okay. Hmm. How do I prevent him from hurting my man, Ifong? What's it going to cost me for Evasive Aura? Two to move? Okay. Okay, I can disable that guy. gonna have to move one out of the way. That's the problem with being hidden behind the wall. That was not as advantageous as I would have liked to have been. That's okay, we're not we're not doomed yet. Evasive Aura let's see if we can keep everybody from getting too hurt here. This guy is the suck. Both of these guys though He's got earth immunity, and this fool has fire immunity, so I can't kill him with fire. All I can do is hurt this guy. Um, and he's going to be... Challenger of Winter is going to act next. I'm going to put you right over on top of him. You get you get some free movement here. And then who's gonna act next? The challenger of summer. Okay, 
Okay, your your boy here has to be the one to get this done. I don't want him to be a winter. I just want him to be dirt. I want him to do physical damage. Challenger of Summer. There, that's what I wanted to see. And the Challenger Winter, I can knock both of you guys down. Yes. Fight as an elf. Strike true. All of the forest, your fighting skill. All your the true shall prevail. The false death or victim. The fates will decide. Ifan, what are you gonna do? Oh man. Who acts next? Challenger of Spring, this fool. He's he's so sucky. Um I am not magically equipped to deal with him. Not magically equipped. I don't really have anything that can strip magic from him, unfortunately. I need to take off about 68 magic damage. Don't have anything that can do it. It's not gonna scare him. I just can't take off enough magic damage with, uh, with what he's got there. Which means, in that case, who's acting after him? The Challenger of Autumn? I think I need to make the Challenger of Autumn suffer then. And this could be bad because this guy left that close to red. Um, may very well just kill him. And that could be really bad, but. everybody and hope somehow I can give everybody enough hit points. Oh, they were already encouraged. I'm an idiot. Yeah, there he goes. Oh, and he missed red because we had the, the aura on. Oh, thank you. Thank you, evasive aura. Oh, man. Alright. This guy's back up again, but you can clearly kill him. Who's going to act next? The Challenger of Autumn. He's up. Let's do this. I want to backlash and jump over him and kill him. Oh, you missed him? You missed him? Why'd you miss him? Air mini flank attribute. Why? There's no reason for you to miss him. There was no reason for you to miss him. And... Challenger of the Sun. Keep him down. It's your job to kill this guy. Oh, but he's immune to... F oh, no, this is the Earth Immunity guy. Dude, awesome. Okay, it's your chance. You gotta do a lot of damage here. What's the best way? Combustion or fire? Fire. I'm gonna fire the whole thing so that I can just be standing in. I forgot what I want to do. Who acts next? That tree, then my guy, then the tree, the tree, the tree. The challenge of summer acts next. Okay. 
In that case, I want to use Planar Gateway so I can get out of here and get over to here. That'd be great. Summer. I'm gonna fortify. I'm gonna give some magic armor. Man thing. And the Bone Widow. Nothing else. This guy's trying to move. What's the next one? Challenger of Summer? Yeah, hit him. Hit him as hard as you can. Mm. Yeah, and the incarnate moves. I forgot about that. Darn it. Okay, get over there. He moves with you if you go through that portal thing. He took off some points there. Death. Death or victory. He's gonna move. He's almost dead. He's gonna try to kill Red. You can get him though if you can get over there. Can you blitz attack anybody? Nope, you're too far away. Alright, you're gonna have to use wings. Hold on. bar when it shows up. All right. You're going to get a chance to swing at this fool once you move over here. So just end him. He's executed. That's fabulous. That means... Oh, that Challenger of Winter. Can you knock him down from here? I hope so. Yes. Excellent. Oh, and he's taken off. Who's acting next? Challenger of Winter. Two guys. Okay. Fame. That means you need to kill this dude over here. So, Hawk, your cloak and dagger butt over here. Right in behind him. That'd be nice. And then Corrupted Blade this guy. Oh, he's dead. That's awesome. Red! Can you manage to kill this guy? Got epidemic of fire, which is awesome, but what I'm really gonna do is just first flame open. Oh, this should be this should do it. The trial of combat has ended. You are victorious. Your prize awaits. Use it wisely. As a true friend of the elves. Love it. Love it. So cool. Awesome. Quirkus, Sir Loria, are you still with us? Yes, good. Wow, they made it this way. They made it this far, level 15. That's great. So there's this corrupt, there's this Phoenix Heart. Take that. I actually don't know what that's good for yet. Um, and the chest, which gives you gold and a spontaneous combustible, which we already had. So that is that. Alright. Oh, and then. Cancel, I don't want a map marker. Bromley's Buried Valuables. We already went and got those. So now what we need to do next is go through this tricky little area over here and head north to the sawmill. We want to try and rescue our friend. And then we have to do this whole area over here too. The Ancient Empire Caravan is kind of important and Hollow's Buried Valuables as well. But the best way to get there is to go through here. There's a back door. So, my friends and neighbors, let's go this way. Getting into this location is all about avoiding all these different traps that it has. And 
I think one of the easiest ways is just send somebody with wings to fly over it and then use the teleporter pyramids. So Ifan is going to do that. We'll give him flight. Oh, and he still blew that up. Wow. That's kind of intense. And then there's the front edge of it. But there's a couple of bodies over here. So what I'm going to do is let Fane use his teleporter pyramid. Meet us all there so that she can do this. Mupper. Someone named Mupper is a dying. Dead elf. What does Yvonne say about this mother character? Alright. Oh, and then the Fane won't need. He won't need Blood Ring anymore. So I'd rather give him something a little bit more useful. Uh, not necessarily Death Wish, but Sawtooth Knife would be great. Got enough movement. I'm always I'm always trying to figure out what's the best thing to do with him as far as his spell combinations go. Uh, Fane actually might be a better candidate for getting through here because of all that stuff. And so if you just send him, he can tactically retreat his way through. And he's got the red one. So you guys meet him at the red. And bingo, there we go. All right, before we step foot into this place, talk to these people, I think it's time to stop and do the next episode. So thanks for watching, everybody. As always, if you like the content, please subscribe to the channel. And I will see you next time. Oh, and if you leave a question or comment, I will answer. I'm really good about that. So see you next time on the next episode. Thanks for watching.